This video is for a woman that's working in her career and you have children and you're thinking about becoming a stay-at-home mom. This video is also for someone that is a stay-at-home mom and you are thinking about starting your career and you're trying to figure out which one is more beneficial for you. One thing I love about being middle age is that I have been around a long time and that I have learned a lot throughout my life. My husband and I have been married for 29 and a half years. I'm a mom. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the pros and also the cons of being a career mom. And I'm going to create another video and it's going to be about the pros and cons of being a stay at home mom. In each video, I'm going to share my personal experience and what I learned from being a career mom and from being a stay-at-home mom. After watching this video, you should be able to decide which role is better for you. For the first couple of years of my husband and I marriage, I was a stay-at-home mom. I was a stay-at-home mom for seven years. Once my oldest daughter got into the third grade, I decided that I wanted to go to college. And after being in college for like two years, I started working in my career. One of the advantages of being a career mom is that your family will have more income coming in. So you can buy more of the things that you want and not just the necessity things that you need. My career was in retail management. I work in the clothing field. So the companies that I work for, I would try to make sure it was for a company that sold nice quality name brand clothing. So my family and I was able to wear nice trendy clothes for a very cheap price because of my store discount. Another thing that I liked about working was that I felt independent. I felt good about to know that I was able to help my family out financially. One of the main reasons why I chose to become a working mom is because of just in case. I have always been a type of person to where I would think about the long run. And one of my just in case things was that if my husband died before I did, I wanted to be well established in my career and I didn't want it to be to where I didn't want to have to change my lifestyle because I wouldn't have his income anymore. So I wanted to have something to fall back on. So that was one of the main reasons why I chose to work. My husband was the source for providing for my family. If our relationship didn't work out, I didn't want to have to worry about how I am going to survive, how I'm going to make it without having a skill. So that was another reason why I chose to become a career mom. I wanted to be established in my career and I wanted to have some type of security. And by me working, I felt secured and also safe. Now I want to talk about the cons of being a career mom. One of the cons of being a career mom for me was that I had less time to spend with my children. One of the main reasons why I had uh, less time to spend with my children is because I work at the mall. So most holidays, instead of being at home with my family, I had to work. My job was very stressful. One of the reasons why it was so stressful is because from the fact that I had to run the stores. So whatever problems that would happen in the store each day, I had to be responsible for them. And not only that, in retail management, there was always something new to learn and there were always a lot of changes going on. So I had a lot to remember. I can remember when I was working, whenever I would get home, I was tired. I didn't have a lot of time to spend with my children. And not only that, 
with retail management, it wasn't a nine to five job. You know, I work mall hours. So when holidays came, they would open earlier and stay open at a later time. So around the holidays, I had to put in a lot of hours. And once I did come home, I was, I was exhausted. I didn't have but just maybe like one or two hours just to spend with my children. When I worked the night shift, by the time I got home, my kids would be sleep. So that was a whole day that I didn't spend with my kids. I missed a lot of time out of my children's lives when I was working. And that's time that I can't get back. My life was controlled by someone else. Even though I was a manager and I wrote out the schedule, I still had to work a certain amount of hours each week. I still had to work some nights. A couple of years after being in my career, I started having health problems, but I was so busy until I didn't want to take time off to take care of myself. So in the long run, I end up almost losing my life because of that. There are pros and cons of being a career mom. You just have to decide what's best for you. In my next video, I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons of being a stay-at-home mom. And I'm also going to discuss at the end of the video which role was more beneficial for me. So make sure you tune in for the next upload. I have a question for you. Are you a stay-at-home mom or a career mom? Are you content in your role? If not, I would like to know why. And if you are, I would also like to know why. If this video was beneficial for you and you like my message and you want to support me, subscribe to my channel and also click on the notification bell. That way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. If you are a mom and you need some advice, you can set up a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me on Kenderly. The information and also the link will be in my description below. If there is a particular topic that you want me to do more videos on, you can email me at chatswithflow at gmail.com. Thank you for tuning in and make sure you stay tuned in for the next upload about the pros and cons of being a stay-at-home mom.